what is up collective what is going on with y'all today today is the 19th i believe april 19th yes so i'm here to do a weekly message um for the collective for um the 19th through the 25th so we're gonna see what is going on with the collective i don't know i feel like i've just been getting a lot of downloads from spirit um and something. I hate when it over my sage be falling all apart. But yes, I am here to do a weekly message for the collective because spirit has just been like bombarding me with downloads, I feel like. So something was just like, do a collective reading, a weekly message. It may be something significant that happens this week, um, but it's going to be different from everybody. Like, whatever it is, I feel like, I feel like it doesn't feel like a bad thing. It just seems kind of like unexpected. Like, whatever it is, it seems like it may just catch you off guard possibly but yes i'm gonna go ahead and sage the space so that spirit can allow in clear and concise messages clear the decks just clear the space Alrighty, so yeah, I know we're gonna start off with my favorite, which is the monology cards, um, and just get a weekly message for the collective. Spirit, what message do you have for the collective 19th through 25th of April? Luck is on your side. What's that? New moon in Sagittarius. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have balance, spirituality, and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. Um, so some of you watching my channel could be a Pisces. You could be a Sagittarius. Um, but yeah. Um, I feel like there's something here about balance. So I, I feel like this may be a busy week for a lot of a lot of us in the collective. It's gonna be a busy week. It's gonna be a lot going on, a lot happening. Um and yeah, so just make sure you make time for your spirit guides and your ancestors and God or whoever it is that you believe in. Just make sure you tap in um with them this week for sure. Okay. New moon in Sagittarius. And you know I like to read the moonology card out of the book because I feel like they have a lot of messages in a lot of messages in the moonology deck. Okay, we have if you missed it, it's new moon in Sagittarius. Luck is on your side. Okay, it says whatever is coming your way, it looks Set to put a smile on your face. The new moon in Sagittarius can mark the restart of fun after a period of feeling low. The energy is adventurous and even willing to take a few risks. But be careful you don't bet the farm on something here. As the wheel of fortune is still spinning, this card is about exploring life metaphorically by exchanging big ideas with others or just thinking about your own philosophies. Perhaps it's time to change your mind about something important. It can also signal that a trip away is coming up. If that's something you're working on to achieve, but the overall message of this card is that whatever happens next will be some sort of gift, even if it simply means widening your worldview. 
Count your blessings, literally. Write them down and say them out loud. You need to laugh more. This is a wonderful time to start a course of study or teaching. Don't be narrow-minded. Start a week of gratitude practice via Facebook, journal, or blog. Um, Sagittarius is the sign of fun, travel, exploration, and great cosmic quest. It's the sign of big ideas. Its energy is expansive, upbeat, lucky, and divine. The new moon in Sagittarius exudes all this, as does this card whenever you draw it. Nothing is set in stone with Sagittarius, and an optimistic energy could attract all manner of good things if you tap into the energy by expecting the best. So, collective, make sure you stay high vibing this week. Like, don't let anything negative, anything or anybody negative try to pin it penetrate your thoughts uh with this look this look is on your side i feel like uh there's going to be some new opportunities presented to you this week um i feel like everything may be like it's the feeling of like lightheartedness you know not taking things too serious of course you still need to handle your responsibilities but not taking things to the extreme you know going with the flow um just opening yourself up to new but we'll see what's going on let's see spirit guides guardian angels ancestors we can go guys for the collective for the 19th through the 25th and i already pre-shuffled off camera too Bottom of the deck is the three of wands. I feel like there's an optimistic energy here. I feel like some of you are waiting for your ships to come in. Maybe you're waiting for answers or information or responses. Some of you are waiting for something here. Three of wands. But whatever you're waiting on, I feel like it's something new. Um, I feel like everybody is in the energy of wanting something new, wanting new beginnings. Well, at least most of us anyway. A lot of people are feeling this Aquarius energy, you know, the new age of Aquarius. So a lot of people are just like, I don't know, it's kind of like hitting the restart button on their life. Like people are just like moving away from things that are no longer serving them, no matter how long they've been there, whether it's a job, it's a relationship. People are just like letting stuff go and starting completely over and heading in a new direction. Um, with this three of wands, I feel like a lot of you may be making plans to travel. Um, yeah, maybe you're waiting to see if you get um, the days off work in order for you to be able to go somewhere like yeah, a lot of you are waiting, making plans like but it's like an optimistic energy here let's see okay so we have a couple of people here we can we have the king of pentacles in reverse and this could be capricorn taurus virgo energy and we also have a knight of cups in reverse it's cancer pisces scorpio energy so, I really don't like the King of Pentacles in reverse. Um, the King of Pentacles in, in reverse is somebody who's not financially responsible. In general, this could just be somebody who's broke or they're struggling financially. Um, King of Pentacles reverse is a very selfish energy as well. This is a very unstable person. Um, 
like financially speaking. I mean, it could be other aspects, but um, definitely somebody who is worried about money. This person could be greedy, uh, pretentious, just, I don't like the King of Pentacles in reverse. So there's somebody here, like, for, I mean, it might, this King of Pentacles in reverse could be some of you, but I, I doubt that if you're on YouTube listening to this, this probably not you. Um, but yeah, King of Pentacles reverse and then the Knight of Cups reverse. So this could be like a um this could be an earth sign with water in the chart. Um and then this Knight of Cups reverse, that's a very insincere person. Um, so be careful, collective, um, about a water sign and an earth sign this week. And then you have the devil in reverse, but this is good. This means that you guys are releasing something. Um, that is not meant for you, something that was toxic, some something that was codependent, something that was causing you to have addictions or making you feel stuck or trapped or um, it's in the reverse. You know, the, the devil card is about vices. This is about um, low vibing energy. It's in the reverse. So I feel like collective, you may be coming out of something that has been toxic or you feel like has been just not good for you. And it could be this Knight of Cups reverse, or it could be this King of Pentacles reverse. For some of you, it's two people that you're having to get rid of. And this could be anybody. I mean, get rid of in the sense like, you know, you have to cut these people off or you have to put some distance in between you and these people. But you are coming out of the devil energy this week. So that is good news. Let's see. Here, tell me about the King of Principles reverse. Tell me about the Knight of Cups reverse. Ten of Swords reverse. Yes. So I feel like collective that Ten of Swords reverse, you're getting out of um something that just I don't know made you feel at your lowest point. Um something that really made you feel like you hit rock bottom. It's like you're come you're coming out of that, you're overcoming something here. Um you have the Wheel of Fortune clarifying the King of Pentacles in reverse. So um, the divine, the universe is definitely stepping in this week. Um, you know, it may be a situation that happens where the universe removes this king of pentacle energy um, from your life. Because with the will of fortune, that's like a positive chain of events. That's divine timing. That's when something is just completely out of your control. Um, it's happening when it's supposed to. So, um, collective, I feel like you can expect like, um, a positive series of events this week. Um, and everything is happening when it's supposed to, because the will of fortune and the three of wands, I feel like some good, some good things are coming into you. If you've been waiting on something, your ships are coming in with this will of fortune and the three of wands. Um, however, this Wheel of Fortune is also, um, I feel like it's, I'm hearing closing out cycles. So if you have some bad energy people around you, um, this week, I feel like the universe is going to make a way to remove these people from around you, from out your energy, like something to that effect. And then we have 
the King of Swords reverse with the Knight of Cups reverse. I don't know who this is, but I do not like this energy. The King of Swords reverse. Um, first of all, the King of Swords upright is like is a very intelligent, um, masculine energy. Um, this person is smart. This person is straight to the point. They're intellectual. They know how to speak. They usually have good conversation, very articulate. Um, in the reverse, the King of Swords is like, it's the King of Swords and the Knight of Cups reverse. This, whoever this is, is a lying motherfucker. So it could be an air sign with water in the chart you're dealing with. Um, this could be a corrupt boss at your job or something. Um, this could be them with that King of Pentacles in reverse too. This person is like greedy, like power hungry. I'm hearing, um, and you may you may see that this person is like. I don't know what this person is doing yet. I'm going to clarify them. The King of Swords with the Knight of Cups in reverse. This person is a liar. Whoever this is. It's like this person is fake as a motherfucker. Like you can't trust anything this person says. The Knight of Cups reverse. Like this person could be a womanizer. They could be verbally abusive. Like I don't know who this is. But I feel like it would be somebody that you know. Because with the King of Swords reverse. Like there's somebody who like. Yeah it definitely could potentially be verbally abusive. And if somebody is like verbally abusing you. I... First of all, shouldn't nobody be verbally abusing you. But if it is somebody who's trying to verbally abuse you, I could imagine it is somebody who's like familiar with you on some type of level. Hopefully this isn't somebody's boss at their job or something like that. Like, let's see, who is this King of Swords in this Knight of Cups reverse? Who is this person? Scary. hanged man oh so for a lot of you this could be a pisces this could be a pisces which would make sense because the king of cups reverse so for a lot of you it's a water sign it's a cancer scorpio or a pisces pisces for sure um this pisces could have air in the chart um Gem gemini libra aquarius but yes this is either somebody who feels stuck in their life like somebody who just feels stuck in whatever circumstances that they're in. Or this could be somebody that felt like you left them hanging, collective. You left them hanging. Um, maybe you, I don't know, it was just, maybe you left this person. Maybe you ghosted this person. Like, I don't know what you did to this person, but they are like hostile. Um... Why is the hanged man here? Because with the hanged man, the hanged man is all about seeing something from a new perspective. Like, for me, the hanged man is like um, seeing something for a, from a higher octave, um, looking at something from a different angle. And so I feel like with this hangman energy, a lot of you could have realized something about this King of Swords, Knight of Cups, reverse person that you did not like. And you may have like left this person, like you could have left them on red, you could have blocked them, you could have just left this person alone. Like, I, I don't know, but this person seems like they're mad at you about something. How's this hangman? What's this hanging in here? Yeah, because with the devil reverse and the ten of swords reverse, this is somebody that you just like release yourself from. This could be like a lion ass friend, family member, co-worker, or like an ex that you used to be with. So you know, put it together as you see fit. Yeah, death card reverse. So for some of you, this could be a Scorpio for sure. Um, but this is somebody who... 
Okay, so with the death card reverse, either this person was like not wanting to change. Like this person was like stalling, um, changing in some sort of way, transforming in some type of way. This person was like delaying the process of change here. Uh, or this could be somebody that um, in whatever capacity that you know this person or you're familiar with this person, this is somebody who didn't want your relationship to be over. You know, this person wasn't ready for something to end here. And it's probably why they're so mad. Um, they either didn't want something to end. You didn't want this situation to end. But for some reason, I feel like you might have had to because this person is like really low vibing. King of Swords reverse and the Knight of Cups reverse. This person sold dreams. They were a liar, possibly a womanizer, rude, disrespectful, um, all of that. So, and I feel like, I just heard this person feel like they were smarter than you. Like, they can outsmart you in some way. So, I don't know who this is, but I feel like this person is mad because you left them hanging. Like, this person wasn't ready for um, this relationship or this friendship to be over with. And now they're showing up in this week's energy. So, I feel like this person may show back up. You may hear from them or something. And like I said, for a lot of you... It's the two majors here. Well, let's see. Uh, definitely, <clears throat> excuse me. I have the hangman, the death card, and the devil card. So, Pisces, Scorpio, and Capricorn. And then with this moon card, Sagittarius too. Let's see. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Yeah, luck is on your side. So I feel like a lot of you collective, you are protected. Your ancestors, your spirit guides, God is not going to let this person like come in your life and disrupt anything else if they already have. Or if you recently like broke up with this person or let this person go or cut this friend off. Like I still feel like they're going to show up again this week and maybe try to speak to you or something but you are protected. The universe is not going to let this person continue to do whatever they've been doing or acting however they've been acting. Because like I said, that King of Swords reverse and that Knight of Cups reverse, whoo child, that is a mess. Oh, look, Three of Pentacles reverse. Yes, I feel like a lot of you, maybe it's a collective, I feel like some of you, um... I'm trying to find the right word, but I feel like some of you caused the wheel of fortune to start turning. I feel like whoever this negative ass person is, like, was in this um, devil energy. And you decided not to work with this person no more, not to cooperate with this person anymore. Um, because I'm hearing this person just, this person didn't play fair. This person didn't play fair. With the three of pentacles reverse, it could definitely be like a co-worker. Uh, like I said, for some of you, this could be like a corrupt ass boss. Yes, but I feel like a lot of you decided to cut this person off or like not work with them anymore. Not collaborate, not share ideas, not um share money and just not invest in this situation anymore period yeah strength card on the bottom of the deck in the reverse so i feel like whatever this person was doing i feel like it just made you be like yeah fuck this like because the strength card is all about courage and um gathering up that inner strength to be able to do something um and when it's in a reverse, for me, that's either somebody who's like operating out of their ego. So for some of you, this could have been a Leo um, that's operating out of their ego that you had to cut off. Or this is somebody that just doesn't have the strength to um, keep dealing with something or keep dealing with somebody. It's just like, no, I'm not wasting any more energy, strength, effort, 
anything on this situation. I'm just going to remove myself and keep it moving. So I feel like a, a lot of you collective triggered this wheel of fortune to start, to start spinning. I feel like things will definitely be changing for you this week. Um, but I feel like whoever this person is, is going to try to come back around again. Because like I said, death card in reverse. This person has a fear of change. Or it's like this person didn't want this situation to be over yet. So they're still showing up in your energy this week um, to some extent. Let's see. Ten of Swords reverse. But I feel like you... The devil is reversed. So I feel like you already released yourself from this toxic ass energy or whatever this was. I feel like... You've been ten of swords reversed. You've been healing, pulling the swords out your back, um, and just trying to move forward, be positive, focus on things that are important. And this person is like salty that you cut them off, or you don't want to work with them anymore, or for them. Ten of swords reversed. Nine of Pentacles, yes, you guys are slowly moving on. Um, I feel like you're taking your time, though. Whatever this situation was that you got yourself out of, um, I feel like now, um, now you have the time. Now you have the energy to really focus on what you're supposed to be working, working on um, and just taking your time because the Nine of Pentacles... Um, that's the slowest night in the deck, but that's the night that gets shit done. He's reliable. He's trustworthy. Um, he's responsible. He's making sure that he's um, crossing all his T's and dotting all his I's. So I feel like ever since you cut this person off or left this person behind, I feel like collective, you've just been on your shit, um, focusing on your priorities, focusing on yourself, whatever that may mean to you. Um yeah, you're looking out into the horizon, looking for a new shit. It's like, okay, I'm done with this. This person, what's next? Yeah. Spirit, um, tell me what this person did. What is this, What did this person do to the collective to get cut off? will be getting cut off this week what did this person do to the collective So I feel like this person was like really immature. Um, this person was really immature. For some of you, like I said, this could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But this person was a page of swords reverse. This person was a pathological liar. Just This person just did not tell the truth at all. Like you can't even believe this person. Like you can't believe nothing that comes out this person's mouth. Um, page of swords reverse. Yes. This person is a liar. This person is reckless. This person is just immature, not trustworthy, not responsible. Like this person acts like a fucking child. <laughs> it's why the fuck they got cut off. And for some of you, this could be one of your children that are just like, you're just over it with them. Or one of your kids. Um, but yes, whoever this person was, was a liar. They sold dreams. Like, I don't know why liar keeps just coming to my head. But this person um, just could not be trusted. Like, nothing that this person says was the truth. And this re person refused to change. This person refused to grow up. And it's just like, I feel like you just couldn't deal with this shit. Impossible third party here, too. So, I don't know if this person had you mixed up in something or tried to get you mixed up in something 
Um, but this person's energy is showing up here this week. So I feel like um, collective, whoever this person is that you recently cut off, I feel like this person is coming back around this week. And I'm hearing that this is a test. So if you've been learning karmic lessons, because the Wheel of Fortune is out here. If you've been learning karmic lessons um, from the universe recently, and you had to cut somebody off. If this person resurfaces for you this week, it is a test. So I wouldn't let this person back in my life. I wouldn't entertain them. Definitely wouldn't have sex with them if you're doing that. Um, but I don't even see that out here. I feel like you already cut this person off and like just, you know. And this person is still currently stalking you. So, or they're going to be stalking you this up and coming week. This person is probably like spying on your social media. Um, something. Why is the page of swords reversed? Yes, I feel like the Wheel of Fortune with the Three of Pentacles reverse. If you were involved in some type of third party situation, I feel like the universe is putting you in a position to be able to remove yourself from that. Uh, or you already have removed yourself from that. And that's why the wheel is turning in your favor. It says luck is on your side this week. So this person comes back this week with their bullshit. They're not even going to be able to do anything. Like this type of shit that they're doing, all these lies and shit they're telling is not even going to have an effect on you. How's the page of source reverse? Because I feel like you know, you know this person's game now. It's like you know what this person is up to. You know how they operate. You know what they're about. And you just don't have nothing to do with them. Page of Swords reverse. Yeah, Three of Swords reverse. I feel like collective you, that it's Three of Wands, Three of Pentacles reverse, and the Three of Swords reverse is definitely a third party here. So if this is a romantic situation, because like I said, we did have three people out here in the beginning. The King of Pentacles reverse, the King of Swords reverse, and the Knight of Cups reverse. So it could be an earth sign, an air sign, and a water sign in some type of third party situation recently that you had to cut off. Um... But take it as it resonates. It could be any sign. But definitely with this Three of Swords reverse, this collective, this is you just getting over this situation. You have the, the, the Ten of Swords reverse and the Three of Swords reverse. Collective, this is you just getting over this. Whatever the fuck this situation was, um, that was just getting out of control. It was just too immature and all this bullshit was going on. This is you healing from this situation. Like, not even giving a fuck at this point. Like, yeah, your feelings was probably hurt at first when you had to cut this person off initially. But I don't think you're going to be giving a fuck this week. Um, and as far as this person is concerned, I feel like this person is the one still hanging on to this um, heartbreak energy. I don't feel like this person can get over it. This person can't get over the fact that you just cut them out. Or they won't be able to this week. Like, if they try to approach you again this week and you're just like, no, I'm good. Like, this person is not going to be able to take it. Because they're not. Let's see. What is this Three of Pentacles reverse? I'm not cars on. Fly all over the place. Trying to find like trying to find my kipper dick. Yeah, tower here. Oof. You got the tower upright and the will of fortune upright. Yes. Yes, there is definitely going to be some sudden changes this week's um, collective. Um, but luck is on your side here. So I feel like whatever these sudden changes are, they're going to be going to going into your favor. Um, not so much the other people involved. <laughs> Let's see. What is the tower? What is this sudden event? It's 
happening for the collective as a tower. More Scorpio energy. The Sun card. Yes. Unexpected blessings. Oh my goodness. You have the Wheel of Fortune, the Tower. You have the Wheel of Fortune, the Tower, and the Sun card all upright. Scorpio and Leo here. So some of you could be dealing with Scorpio. Some of you could be dealing with a Leo. Um, and then Scorpio and Leo specifically. I feel like you, you two signs are going to have some unexpected blessings um, happen to you this week with the Wheel of Fortune upright. It's going to be unexpected blessings, unexpected good news for some of you. For some of you, Leos and Scorpios, some of you may find out that you're pregnant. If that is you this week, congratulations. But let's see. I'm going to clarify this sun card. What is the sun? <laughs> the magician. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, so, Aries, you're included in this, too. So, Scorpio, Leo, Aries. But something collective that you manifested is coming to fruition this week it is real i feel like this week is going to be some really 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 good news um not in regards to whoever this um king of swords knight of cups reverse person is whoever this liar is I don't feel like it got anything to do with them. But just in general, this week, I feel like there's going to be a lot of blessings. Something that you uh, manifested. Something that you've been working towards, you know, comes to completion. Comes to fruition. Whatever it is that you've been asking the universe for. That you've been praying for. That you've been wanting. I feel like it happens for you this week or the start of it happens this week. You start to um, reap the benefits of something this week. And I'm also hearing like collective, this could be the universe blessing you for learning your um, karmic lessons. This is the universe paying you back for some type of... Um, hard ass lesson that you had to learn yeah because collective i feel like with that knight of pentacles here um you're going to be slowly moving on from something that was like completely unhealthy and i feel like you're waiting to see what's what's next with this three of wands being the overall energy you're waiting to see what's next. This is Knight of Pentacles here. Knight of Knight of Knight. Why do I keep saying Knight? I'm looking at the Knight of Pentacles. This is the Nine of Swords. Um, I feel like th this. So I feel like it's, so for a lot of you, if you have to cut somebody off this week, so I'm reading this two ways. Some of you could be receiving a new offer from a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Or this could be another offer from this toxic ass person that you didn't already cut off. And I and I'm saying that you've cut this person off already because the devil is in reverse. The devil is in reverse and the ten of swords is in reverse. So this is something you were already aware of. It was unhealthy. It was toxic. For some of you, this for some of you, this could be an addiction, some type of horrible habit. And for some of you, this is actually a person that was just toxic. But with that Knight of Pentacles there, um, I feel like this is it might be some type of temptation. Um, whatever this was that you cut off or you stopped doing or you let go of, I feel like it may be an offer to um, something to tempt you here to try to reel you back in. 
Um, some it's a knight of pentacles here that's gonna offer you this shiny pinnacle, like here, like you know, I'm I'm this is what I'm offering now. But I mean, honestly, I don't feel like this person changed. So if you get temp if you know you let go of something and you get tempted in some type of way this week, don't do it. Find your inner strength. Um, start praying to the most high to like protect you from whatever this offer is. Now, another way I could read this is that there is some type of new offer with the Knight of Pentacles here. Um that can be really good for you. But I feel like it's stressing you out. Like for some of you that have cut a situation off or a person off and you're like, you know, you, you're already on a path. You didn't start at this new beginning and this offer comes in. I feel like it gives you anxiety. You know, I feel like it's an unexpected change. You weren't expecting it. And now it's stressing you out because it's finally here. Um, so let's see. Clarify the nine of swords. Yeah, ten of cups reverse. Yeah, okay, so um, this could be an offer coming in from somebody that you separated yourself, somebody that you broke up with, um, where you were in a relationship and you weren't happy with this person. This person is like coming to like offer you the Knight of Pentacles now. Um, yeah, I would be careful with taking this offer from whoever. So if you broke up with somebody and it, and this person comes back this week trying to offer you um some sort of pentacle or some like offer you something, I would just be careful of taking that. I mean, I do see the nine of swords here, so whatever this person is offering is probably gonna stress you out. Like this person may be suggesting that you guys get back together or you start over, or you try to rebuild. Don't let it stress you out. Just take your time. Be patient with yourself. Um, talk to the most high about what you feel like you should do. And, you know, really think about if you want to accept that offer or not. I, I still feel like it's some other good news that comes in. But in regards to like a love situation, I feel like you had to cut somebody off. Um and I feel like this could have possibly been like three weeks ago. Like somebody you recently cut off, but I feel like this person may be back this week um, trying to offer you something with the Knight of Pentacles. It's like maybe this, I'm hearing this person is trying to get you to trust them again. Like, I don't know, collective. I don't Be careful. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to clarify this three of wands. But you, collective, you definitely cut something off and getting over something you're healing from something um this week some of you could have had a surgery because the page of swords the page of swords reverse with the three of swords reverse that's the four of swords so some of you could be recovering from some type of surgery or some type of procedure Wands. or you know an air sign that's recovering from some type of surgery or procedure yeah you got the knight of wands and the five of swords Whew. I definitely feel like somebody For some of you, I feel like with this three of wands, you kind of already know this person is coming. You know this person is going to try to reach out to you again. And you've just, you've been waiting for this person to come back so you can really just cut them the fuck off. Um, I feel like this person uh, was probably a whore um, just around giving it out to everybody. This person was playing mind games, just wanted to win at all costs. Didn't care who they was backstabbing, who they were effing over. Like, they just didn't care. This person did not care. And I feel like they, this person did you dirty. 
and I feel like you cut this person off, but you've been, uh, maybe your intuition has been letting you know that this person is um, coming back. Yeah, the emperor. Yeah, the emperor and the eight of wands and the eight of cups reverse. Yeah, this is somebody who can't let you go emotionally. Um, for some of you, it is an Aries. For some of you, it's a Leo, a Sagittarius, or air sign. And for some of you, this could be your husband if you're married. This could be like an ex-husband or a baby daddy or somebody that you know you don't fuck with because this is the type of energy that they were in when you were dealing with them. It's just like, yeah, I feel like you know this person games already. Like, you know this person is a liar. You know they put you in third-party situations. You know this person was just, just trying to take advantage of you. This person was probably in competition with you, probably jealous of you. Uh, this person was in and out of your life, inconsistent, just all over the fucking place. Let's see. Tell me more about the three of wands. Five of Cups. This is somebody that regrets losing you. But I don't know if this person can act right or not. Yeah, be careful, collective. Because I see some, I see an ex or a baby daddy or an ex-husband. I see somebody coming back here this week to try to offer you something. The thing about it is, I don't know if this person has changed or not. Um, this person definitely is feeling regretful, remorseful. Um, this person could be feeling sorry for themselves, but I'm sorry. I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't feel like you'll be able to trust this person, but let's see. Because remember, the death card was in reverse, so this person has a fear of change. Like this person doesn't want to transform. They don't want to mature. This person doesn't want to grow the fuck up. Spirit. Oh. Spirit, give me three cards about this person for this week. The 19th through the 25th. Tell me about the collective's past person. Tell me about this person. It's trying to offer them something. What is tell me about this person's current energy? don't be tempted by this person this person is not coming back with good energy um they haven't changed you have the six of cups reverse um the queen of pentacles reversed and the queen of swords so this person is not coming back to offer you any type of emotion i'm starting to feel like a revenge energy i feel like this person may be coming back towards you um, to get back at you for cutting them off or for leaving them hanging or leaving them behind. Because um, we have the King of Pentacles reversed in the beginning of this spread. Here, the Queen of Pentacles reversed. So for some of you that were in a long-term relationship with this person, or for some of you that were married to this person, especially if you're an Earth sign, um, yeah, this person is not... Mm -mm. This person is still but hurt about you cutting them off. This person, this person is salty. This is salt bay. Look, five of wands on the bottom of the deck. This person is trying to come to this to fuck up your peace. This person is coming to argue, to fight, to just be petty, all of that. So I would not even entertain this person this person is immature and we got this we got
And we got the Ten of Pentacles reversed, the Ace of Wands upright, the Page of Cups, and the Six of Pentacles reversed. So if it's funny, I feel like this person like took advantage of you financially. Like this person tried to probably use you for money or wanted to be in a relationship with you for money. And that is not the right dude. <laughs> Yeah, this person wanted to be with you for money or took advantage of you. And I feel like you, yeah, hangman. When the hangman came out, I feel like you realized who this person was. You started looking at them differently. You realized that this person was with you probably for superficial reasons. The ace of wands, um, that person probably, they either only had sex to offer or they only wanted a sex-based relationship with you. But yeah, this person is not coming back to reconcile and be peaceful and any of it. This person is coming back because they see you shining now. They see you getting blessings. They see you shining, doing good without them, happy, manifesting, getting a lot of attention from people, looking good. Like this person is this person is a hater. <laughs> like they're coming back because they're jealous of how your life is going now without them. Spirit guides. Give me three cards. From Kipper. For the collective. Journey, yeah. See, journey and number 10. I feel like collective something um ended for you, and now you're just moving the fuck on, leaving this person hanging, leaving them in the dust because they were just too low vibing. This is just one of those situations where you can't take everybody with you. You could not take this person with you where you're headed. They just don't fit the criteria. Maybe if they would change, they probably would, but I don't see it happening. Give me two more cards, spirit. Yeah, official person and wealthy man. Ooh. Woo! Mature man. Woo! When I say, okay, collective. For the females watching this, I feel like you got options this week, honey. Okay? You have the mature man, the wealthy man, and the official person. You have all these men wanting your attention, looking at you. Mm -hmm. But like I said, I would... Knight of Pentacles, take your time with these people. Get to know them. Find out what their intentions are before you give them any type of time, energy, effort, like... Let these people show you what their intentions are. Yeah, the lovers. I feel like one of these men is a good option for you. Now, who it is, I don't know. It's the lovers card is the card of Gemini. So, if you meet a Gemini, that person may be um, pretty authentic. Let's see. I was only supposed to pull three of these cards. Look at me. Yeah, message of concern. I feel like a lot of collective, ooh, unexpected income. Yes, so collective. I feel like the money is going to be looking really good, okay? Money is going to be looking good. The house is going to be looking good. Um... And you're going to have a lot of suitors. You're going to have a lot of people trying to get your attention, trying to get time with you, trying to get a date with you, trying to communicate with you, text you, call you, whatever. Um, a lot of these people, their energy, like you're going to have to decipher the good from the bad. Um, I feel like some of you can get some. I'm telling you, it's going to be unexpected blessings this week. So some of you can get some unexpected money, a message about some money, a letter in the mail, a check in the mail about some money. Some of you may be getting your stimulus. 
Um, yeah, so some unexpected money, some unexpected blessings, and you're going to have a lot of people vying for your attention. Um, but whoever this ex is, whoever this person was that you were in a relationship with that you cut off, this person is salty, okay? They are hating that you are going to be living your best life. So, you can do what you want to do with that person. And thank you for watching. It's starting to get dark outside now. But, collective, this has been your reading. Um, I definitely appreciate everybody who watches my channel, who, you know, gets something from my messages. I thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. So, have a good week and I'll probably be back on her at some point to do another like random reading. Um, but bye.